So if you've seen my other videos, part one and two, where Tau Tau troubles, and I put a big bore kit in it, never adjusted the valves, and I got like a couple thousand miles out of it. It was pretty good. And then I started having trouble, changed the spark plug and a bunch of other stuff, trying to figure it out, the carb, couldn't figure it out. And it turns out the exhaust valve was too tight. Then it's been heating up really bad. And I don't know what that's about. But I was going to open the valves back up again. I ordered new valves, another new big bore kit, and a racing cam. So all this is, like, I don't, it's pretty burnt up and beat up if you saw the other videos. Like when you take this off, I pretty much cooked it. So I'm going to replace all that. But I'm going to try to get it running for the next week or so on this motor. So this is what I was talking about with the valves being, like, burnt up with burnt oil on them. It was never like that when I took it apart before. And the last couple times, you know, I've been in here, it's looked like that. Alright, so I have the rocker arms off, and you can see they are pretty black. And this is the first time I noticed this because, you know, sometimes I'm working on it in the dark. But all the black starts down there by the exhaust valve. And not at the top by the intake around that one's pretty clean so it's all coming from the exhaust valve all the problem I mean I guess with the overheating and the... I'll take that tensioner off then we'll pull the camshaft check that out so I have the valve head off and you can see the black a little bit better here I'm not sure how to tell if I have a bad exhaust valve I mean I can push on it a little bit and it comes out Try to do it without ruining stuff here. Either way, I'm just gonna pull that seal off or pull the cylinder off. Get rid of all that gasket maker because that just made a mess. And there's a lot of oil running out of that stud. So somebody mentioned that, that I might have blocked an oil passage, a co worker. I don't know, but it all came out of right here, I don't know if you can see it, and it has one of those spacers on it, and once we get those new parts, I have all new gaskets coming, even for the uh, rear end, this has been leaking since like day one, so I'll fix that gasket, no real complaints about the Tau Tau though, it's a good scooter. Fast scooter around. So I just got the order with all my scooter parts. I'm gonna do the full rebuild here. Ah, that might be a problem. The non ERG type, and I think I have the ERG type. Full set of gaskets. I'm pretty sure, talking to other people, that I have a bad valve guide because I'm getting blowback into the top of the valve cover by the rocker arms and you know all that's covered in oil and whatnot so so I just pulled my rocker arms off and sure enough it's broken so I mean that kind of shuts down the rebuild there's no point in putting it back together with this on there Not cool, man. Not cool. It was actually like it would start and run too before this. I'm not sure when this happened. Like, this could have just been, you know, two days ago when I put it back together. I guess I'm just gonna throw the cover back on it, the valve cover. Put the bolts and stuff back where they go. And we'll have to wait until we get that. New rocker arms. Yep, definitely getting new rocker arms. You can see this one's like kind of oblong. I don't know if that's supposed to be like that. 